Hi Nepal today viewers. Today we are going to see some interesting topics related with ASP control calendar. Yes, normally you know how to add the calendar using Ajax I think. Now we are going to see how to add the calendar to the text box. For example, you want to add the date. So we need some calendar control for the text box. Here we are going to show you in ASP.NET how to add the calendar control to the text box. Okay, I am just to split this application with the source and design. You can easily understand what I am doing. If you have any doubt related with adding text box also, you just to go through the previous videos. Okay, and just to drag and drop the text box. I am just to drag and drop on image control. Then I am going to drag and drop on ASP control calendar. This calendar will control this adding and adding this date into the text box. So this is the calendar. Okay, I am just to save this application. Actually, this image, if I click that image, I am going to bind that date into the text box. This is my concept here. I am just save and run the application. When I click that image, it will it's open this calendar window. Then I will just click the date. It will bind into the text box. This is the concept I am going to do now. application is running yeah, it's loading continuously because this is the first time today I'm running this application so it's built all the dot DLL files in that library of visual studio so it's take a little bit time some browser issue also here okay no issue it take a little bit time fish be patience okay now you can see this calendar and text box it is displayed like this okay okay now let me go how how to implement my concept actually here we, i am not added any controls or uh, links between the text box calendar and image now i am going to link all the things using c sharp backend okay i am just adding one image to image control as on image as calendar image I have it is already in the image folder this is for our look and feel okay I'm reducing the size according with the text box okay I'm just saving this application and running the application once you can see this format this is a backend C sharp code. This is a code file. Actually, we are going to write the code here. Okay. If it is not a postback, if you have any doubt about postback, you just go for the previous video and check it out. Okay. And while page load time, I am asking this function to be hide that a calendar to be hide that is my concept now because in page load no need to display calendar if I click the image it will display the calendar option that is a concept 
and just re reloading this application okay the image is showing here and actually uh, still it's not loaded actually uh, I'm just closing this application once again and I'm running here okay I'm just uh, saving this application I'm running again and just building this application let me see how it works okay okay here I am instead of the image button I am just adding one ASP.NET image button here because I want click event to control this calendar with the text box I'm just removing, removing this image and I'm going to add the image button control here. I'm just adding the URL also. If you have any doubt how to add the URL for image button control, I will discuss these things in previous videos. Okay, now I double clicked the event handler is generated. Okay, uh, now I am just adding this image button. Actually, uh, here what is my planning is when I click image button, it's going to be visible, otherwise, it won't. So, I am adding the condition here if a um, calendar dot visible equal to false then when i raise the click event it throws that means that visible will be changed to false so this is a easy thing easy way to implement button click event so you can understand easily i think Okay, this is a boolean type, so we need to add some double quotation. It's not a boolean, sorry. Okay, uh, let me see the thing how it works here. If you have any doubt related with this, please comment out in our video tutorial. I'm just clicking this image button now it's working right yeah if I click again it won't work this way click yeah now it's working fine yeah 50 percentage of work is almost completed let me see how to bind this date when I click that date into the text box okay now I'm just uh, raising the event called selected changed when a calendar selected change I'm going to display something I am just pausing that text box dot text equal to that selected date that is good here calendar one dot selected date I'm pausing this text value here as a calendar 
dot select selected date here it's throwing some error because uh, this is in date format we need the string format so we need to convert this date format into the string okay now it's working i think that 80 percentage of work is completed i'm just saving this application and uh, just to reloading this application again i'm just submitting the reload yes it's binding some data value because already the 31 is selected so it's binding okay now i'm selecting the friday date 2 august yeah it's working fine now because today's date which is 31 so it's displaying that previously and one more thing we need to how to rectify this only with that date because uh, it's added the time default time like 12 am how to rectify this error here what are the things i'm just adding one function called something called long string short string a uh, short date string time string some option is there here i'm just going to add this one to convert the selected date only for the date format or only for the time format here we going to display only the date format so i'm just selecting a uh, too long date string is there and i'm i'm going to add two short date string here too long string is nothing but it will add something 12th august uh, something it will add the year here means is just add only the number field so i am adding and reloading this application okay now it's working fine this is the way we're going to add the control uh, calendar control to the text box this is a simple and easy thing to understand if you have any doubt you just comment out thanks for watching guys please subscribe our channel for more videos